my freaking god, it's time for Into the Radius 2 and our first look at actual gameplay from this game. Now, as many of you know, I'm a huge Into the Radius fan, have been since the beginning of Into the Radius, and now that we're getting a second one, I'm stupidly excited as well. Now, I had the opportunity to actually chat with one of the devs at GDC from this game to hear a bit about the behind the scenes stuff that's going on with this, and now I can talk about a couple of bits of this, which is pretty damn exciting. Also, the lovely team over Into the Radius gave me 10 quest keys to give you guys so that you can get in and play the first game now. So if you want to pick one of those up, all you have to do is keep your eye out for one of these types of codes, popping up on screen, put that into your quest app, redeem this key nice and easy. Keep your eyes out for those because they're going to be popping out across this video. Now let's get into the good stuff because we got our first look at the trailer yesterday and I'm going to sort of fill in some of the areas about things that I know about the game to kind of keep you in the loop with kind of everything we know right now. Now one of the first things you're going to notice when you dive into this trailer is getting attacked by one of those squiddy freaking spider-like creatures jumping at our face. There's a few things that you're going to pick up real quickly though from this is the fact that the environment looks incredible and so does the enemy now. Like they have a whole new rework of the game where they're going to make it look just absolutely freaking gorgeous. This is one of the things that the devs were actually talking to me about, the fact that they wanted to make this game look stunning. Some of the stuff that they couldn't quite achieve with the first one and that they want to achieve with the second one. The next thing that just jumped out to me straight away was the weaponry. The weaponry looks so clean in this. With the attachments that we can now put on the guns, we've got a whole bunch of cool things going on with that that just make it look absolutely insane. Now we already know the in-depth the in-depth look that you get to have in this game because you actually get to do so many things like cleaning out your gun, maintaining the gun and making sure it's going to work perfectly because if you don't then in the field when you're actually out there fighting these horrific creatures well you're going to get a gun jam or something else worse. So you don't want that to happen, so it's all a part of, like, the maintenance is a part of this game. One of the things that I truly love about Into the Radius. Next up, we get a look at our infantry system. Well, this is very infamous with this game, the way that you have to sort of meticulously stack things inside of it, but we are getting a look at the brand new backpack and how it's going to look in the game. It looks so freaking clean, it's like halfway between a backpack and a pelican case. Uh, the other thing we get a quite clean look at in here as well is the new watch, which is cool and very integral to the game if some of you aren't familiar. And the final thing that we see from this scene is the brand new map and the way that it looks again looking real crisp real clean the same goes for this world building that they're doing all of the anomalies and the crazy stuff that you're going to see out there in the radius just looks so clean like this fence just pulsating and oh my god all of the cool things that we have going on in here just gets me so freaking excited and then we come to this sort of gunfight scene where you're going to be able to see them rather well, kill an enemy which looks pretty freaking dope but there's like a new animation set as well where they're kind of almost getting like raptured up into the sky they kind of of like slowly floating up as they sort of disintegrate it just looks so freaking cool again just making this look even more incredible then of course we finish off on that final shot of looking into the radius sort of sun type thing oh my god it just is so damn cool man I i'm just loving the vibe of this game now to round this off i'm going to fill you in with a couple of bits that i do know about the game now into the radius one was a solo game but one of the most requested features that they had was having multiplayer. And they've listened to us. Uh, in fact, they've listened to us on multiple things, but we'll dive into a few more of those as we go along. But multiplayer is now going to be a big part of Insta Radius 2. But they also aren't excluding any of the players that just want to get in there solo. As I know there's a bunch of you out there are probably thinking, I don't really care about getting in with someone. But there's also equally as many people going, yes, mate multiplayer it's going to make this game incredible um one of the things the solitude and the soloness of it did really add to the value of the first game so it's nice to know that they have thought about that experience still being a part of it and they are catering to it still so if you are a solo player you're going to enjoy it but if you want to get in a multiplayer and you want to experience this on a different vibe you're going to be able to which is just incredible news this is going to be coming exclusively to pc vr at first in the same way the first game did while it goes through their early access sort of stage where they're still building out the game and finishing it off and really just kind of adding that final bit of polish they leave it in an early access state on steam which means all pc vr players are going to be able to get to play this first and then once it's finished it will come out across other platforms after that we don't know exactly what platforms i'm going to assume quest is pretty much a given and well hopefully psvr 2 that would be really nice um because i feel like this game would do itself justice on that platform with that sort of higher spec gear that it has so there's so much to look forward to here and there's so much to take in but there's one last final note 
nugget of information that's right at the end of this trailer and that's the fact that we're going to get access to this in summer of this year now that is only a couple of months away and i'm stupidly excited for this i cannot wait to jump into the radius 2 and just have my first experience in there it's going to be incredible so if you are feeling the same way let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you know about this that i haven't mentioned in the video please share your knowledge and of course Hey, listen, this is exciting news. I know these aren't my normal type of videos. It's kind of short and quick, sort of like run and gun sort of style. But I just, I got so excited when this trailer dropped yesterday that I really wanted to talk about it with you guys and girls. And of course, the lovely developers giving away these 10 keys to you guys as well. I hope this gets some of you into the game. And uh, well, yeah, if you missed them, make sure you go check them. There's always going to be at least one key that's not been picked up on. So check them all and have a good time. Jump into the game and enjoy it for yourself if you haven't before. And uh, you can thank me later. Peace out, take care, smash like if you enjoyed this, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.